Okay, so here's the solar hot water heater box so far. Um, I've got uh, all the pieces cut, put together, uh, except for some angle brackets that I'm going to put in the bottom. What I did is I used liquid nails uh, to glue the panels together, and then this is drip edge for roofing, and I've used tech screws to screw to the uh, to the panels. Uh, then I'm going to seal all the joints with silicone. And for now, I'm not going to do anything with the inside. I know I've seen a lot of videos where people will uh, mirror the insides or uh, put a reflective surface in it of some kind. Uh, my box is going to be very well insulated, two inches of foam, uh, and then thermal pane glass. Uh, so I think I'm going to get plenty of hot water out of it. But I'm going to do some tests just to make sure. So that's the shape. I, I put a steeper degree on it so that I can maximize the winter sun because the summer it's going to be hot, hot anyway. So I put the uh, the angle of the thermal pane, which is the thermal pane is going to go right down here uh, and. The sun is lower in the sky in the winter, so I'm, I want to maximize the winter sun because uh, I'm thinking the summer sun is going to be plenty hot. So I'm going to finish putting all my brackets on, and then I'm probably not going to do any more on it tonight. Tomorrow, uh, if I have time, I'll, I'll set the... Uh, Cleats in. I'm going to use one by four cleats to run across where the uh, thermal pane glass is going to set in, kind of give it a shelf to set on. Put the thermal pane in place and uh, build a cradle for the hot water heater. Then set it in and uh, take take some temperature readings and just see how hot it's going to get when I get a sunny day. It's been cloudy for about well, several days now, but um, anyway, that may be all I do tonight, but finish putting the brackets in on the bottom and uh, then go change the brakes on my truck. So that's it so far. More videos later.